Hi guys, so I'm really sorry that it's been such a long time since I posted a TARDIS Tactical video, but I've been in America running around, doing crazy things, um, going to the TARDIS bar in Brooklyn, which was absolutely amazing. I don't know if I have any footage from it, but if I do, you will see that now. It's been so much fun, it's so cool, but it has meant that I've been a little behind in doing TARDIS Tactical videos, but it's worked out really well because I thought the last two episodes um, didn't really work well individually. I didn't. I wasn't that impressed by the Rebel Flash. Um, I thought they were scary, and I thought it was a cool plot. But it wasn't. Didn't feel fresh and new and interesting until you kind of lumped them together as a as a nice two parter. And I think that worked really, really well, and it really brought the other episode up. Um, obviously with a big twist at the end, but just mainly in story as a whole, I thought that we were supposed to be a little bit more interested than we actually were in the notion of. Uh, of your doppelganger against yourself, but it, um, all the interesting parts of that were really brought out in the second part of the episode. Like how how do you choose whether or not to entrust someone else who looks exactly like you with the care of your son? Like how do you get to a point where that is feasible? When when you accept that there is someone who is perfectly built for that role who isn't you? Like that I find like, to be an interesting question and that was addressed in the second part. But things I did like about the first part were mainly the things that Kaylee brought up, actually. Like Rory's sympathetic line about uh, always dying, which is nice that they address because he is, he does always die. And it sometimes he's like, does no one else notice that Rory always dies? Why is Rory not bubble wrapped or anything? It was nice that Amy wasn't perfect in this episode, which is something that I liked. Nice that she wasn't the ideal that the Doctor was looking for. The Doctor really wanted her to be open. To, to both doctors and she was very resistant about it and I wonder how much that plays into the idea of you know her actually being the flesh and being resistant to the idea of there being multiple people because she spent so much time stabilizing herself um, but that was really interesting as well. I expected there to be some sort of twist because the doctor had mentioned at various points in two episodes that this wasn't the first time that he'd seen the flesh and that he he was specifically looking for the flesh in that kind of early incarnation I suppose. I think it played out well and I think it was cool that the lady with the eye patch turned out to be the one checking on her um, and it was something that she was actually seeing, that it wasn't an illusion, it wasn't something sent to her, it was something that her eyes were actually seeing. I also loved in the Rebel Flash when they were all just hanging out in the TARDIS and playing Muse, listening to Supermassive Black Hole, that song to which so many fan videos have been set, um, and just playing darts and hanging out and the Doctor's kind of really preoccupied and anxious and jumpy. I love that trust me were the first words that the gang has said, because that's what the Doctor always asks of everyone, they ask him to trust they ask him to trust them. Things I don't really like, I just feel, I don't know whether anyone else is feeling this, but I feel like the loss of life, alien, ganger, otherwise, has been a lot more almost cavalier this series. Camera stopped filming at this point, so now the lights are a little bit different and everything has changed. But what I think I was trying to say was that basically the treatment of life has been very different. Um, this series, even from the last series of Doctor Who, still with Matt Smith, even in the fifth series, I feel like the sixth series has been very casual about kind of getting rid of aliens and not really having the say and give them a choice. Don't give them a choice narrative that was very present in the Russell T Davis era and to a certain extent was very present in the previous era of Doctor Who in general, like just everything before this series. I don't know if that was a very conscious decision. All the writers during the Ninth and the Tenth Doctors especially concentrated on this idea of genocide because the Doctor had killed all his people and also the Daleks. The questions that issues of genocide made you ask and that was a big part of the narrative of those two doctors. I just feel like it was weird that the doctor so quickly got rid of the flesh version of Amy when the whole episodes had been centered around this idea of um, the flesh being people and being valued as people. And the same goes for the doctor's ganger, ganger of the lady in charge whose name escapes me suddenly and stupidly. Rory's trust in the doctor, as Kaylee pointed out, in terms of the doctor's treatment of Amy in exploding the flesh, um, I thought that was really a, re a key turning point in Rory's character. I think Rory's character it has been developing in a way that Rory is actually the most interesting character at the moment, um, apart from the Doctor himself in Doctor Who, so it's, it'll be interesting to see how they continue doing that or whether it was all just building up to that moment of trust. The next week is a big one apparently, next week we find out who River Song is I believe, I don't know. But I just wanted to speak very briefly about something that happened earlier this uh, week, actually yesterday or the day before yesterday, I can't remember, all the days are blurring into one another.
But basically, there's a slight massive spoiler going around the internet, which I won't mention in this video, for the uh, last episode in this series of Doctor Who, for episode 13. And I got really annoyed, because I just, you know, I, did, I, I didn't agree completely with Stephen Moffat's approach to the spoiler thing. He's like, I hate people who spoil things, I hate them so much. It spoils the surprise, it ruins everything. And he got very kind of verbal and angry about it, and I don't know that that's my... I don't, I don't really feel the same level of anger, but I did feel angry when people spoiled me on Tumblr and Twitter. They just assumed that everyone else knew and that also that everyone else wanted to know and wanted to find out. And I think it's really difficult because when you're using things like Tumblr and Twitter and you know Facebook and everyone just assumes you, you want to know more and you want to know everything, it's really hard to keep the little bubble. And I think as Doctor Who grows and as it has so much success in America and you know maybe hopefully all around the world, and as BBC America keep pushing it so well with the Tumblr and with everything, I hope that people just don't want to devour it completely. I hope that people do save a little bit of surprise. But if you disagree with me, if you think that we should just use spoilers and teasers and that the spoiler to which I'm referring, if you know which one it is, do you think that I should be as angry as I was to be spoiled about it? I just I just think I'm, I'm, I come from the Harry Potter era of spoiling, where spoilers just are a big... No, no, you just don't. You just don't spoil people. It's just courtesy. And I have this very kind of idyllic idea of internet courtesy, but I just think I was really angry to be spoiled about it, and I... Yeah. Sorry that this has been brief and rushed, but yeah, I like the episodes. I thought they were good, but the second episode was definitely better than the first episode. Definitely pulled up the first episode, and basically everything that Kaylee said. Alonzi Alonso. Also, one last thing, there's one exciting Dot 2 thing coming up, and that is the release of Comedian Circuit's new album, Still Got Legs. Um, they're having like two listening parties, I believe they're sold out at the end of this week in London, which I can't make. If you are going and you do go and listen to that album, then let me know what you think, because it looks like it's going to be a pretty good album. Alonzi.